Hello, this is Christiana Manpour and I have a quick question. How many of you found out about this course on Facebook or another social media app? Most of you, right? Yes, social media is a great place to find new learning opportunities or even pick up a hobby, connect with friends or get the news. According to a Pew Research study, more than half of Americans get their news from social media. This number should put the problem into perspective. Facebook removed more than 50 million posts during one month of the coronavirus pandemic because they contained misinformation. And how could we forget the 2016 election during which the Russian government created thousands of fake social media accounts and pages to create chaos and sow discord? I am constantly aware of having to make sure that we address misinformation, disinformation, call it out and report the facts for our audience. Social media is filled with false information, some of which can literally kill you and some of which is a threat to our democracies. Think about how easy it was to set up your own social media profile. It is relatively easy to also create thousands of fake profiles and use those fake profiles to spread sensational content. Algorithms, and we'll learn more about those soon, can amplify the extreme content that these fake profiles generate. And we humans are more likely to engage with that content. Content that evokes strong reactions from us, whether it's humor or anger. Luckily, there are some quick tips to navigate social media and avoid sharing misinformation. Stop when a post makes you feel emotional and ask yourself the three questions developed by the Stanford History Education Group. Who is behind the information? What's the evidence? And what are other sources saying? In this section, you'll learn more tips for fact-checking social media, how platforms work, and how to be a good digital citizen and report misinformation. Let's get to work.